The kids are not all right. Their development is being stunted by their parents' inability to put their own aesthetics aside for the well-being of their own child. Non-toxic colorful toy, child having fun, smile, happy, no! Sad, no smile, misery, pain. It's Christmas time, one of the most exciting holidays for children filled with color, laughter, and family fun. Not for this sad beige TikTok mommy. Today, we are going to be making over happiness into a desolate despair of nothingness. Go ahead and call me crazy or a sad beige mom for what I'm about to do. Today I'm giving the step to my first Christmas tree a total makeover. I'm leaning into my inner Pinterest mom with the vision to neutralize the tree. And I Why do all of these mommy influencers have the exact same voice? Has this been studied yet? So today guys we are going to be making over this lovely Christmas tree into something really fun. Sad. I can already hear you thinking that I'm gonna ruin my toddler's Christmas by painting over these colors. Let's be real, my toddler's favorite toys are brown cardboard boxes and clear plastic water bottles. So Would that happen to be because every single toy that comes through the front door is spray painted brown? I really think that she's a neutral girly at heart. After taking a good long look at the tree, I headed over to Lowe's where I picked out all of our spray paint colors. I can list them all below if you guys would If like. you're crazy like me and end up doing this DIY, make sure to get the kind that specifically says that bonds to plastic. Once I decided which colors of spray paint to use on each part, it was go time. I originally wanted to paint the body of the tree a brown, but then I realized, you know what? I want my tree to look a little bit alive. So here- I want my tree to look a little bit alive. Nothing in your house looks alive. And you were considering painting the tree brown? Poo. I am painting an already green tree another shade of green. I gave it a very realistic Christmas tree look, which I love. The gold was way less gold than what I was thinking for the star, but I actually kind of dig the brass antique look. For the tree skirt, I used this satin color Rust-Oleum paint. When it was time to paint the ornaments, I just took some painter's tape and I covered the little ornament hooks with those. I wanted to keep those white. There was a little pro tip that I learned, or basically a rookie mistake that I made. And honestly, I'm so silly I didn't do this in the first place, but you'll definitely want to hang up the ornaments in order to spray paint them, not leaving them laying on the cardboard getting super goopy in the paint. After a few hours when the paint dried, I was able to go in with a coat on the back side of the trees and all that was left to do is to let it sit and dry overnight. Thankfully, there was only a little bit- My face has not moved for 20 seconds. I think that tells you everything you need to know. But appealing on one of my trees that I could easily fix, it was almost time for the moment of truth and to see how it all looked together. After putting on the star, part of me wants to go back in and add some type of glitter or shine on it, but let me know what you guys think. It looks like shit. It looks like poo. It looks like poo. It looks like a bad dream. It looks like you woke up on the wrong side of the bed. They are definitely giving organic modern vibes. I might even go back in to add some little velvet ribbon bows along the hooks. I do need you guys' help. Should I paint the train or or leave it as is. I could leave it! Leave it alone! Le leave that as is. Please, for the love of f***ing anything, leave it as is. Holy sh**. This is a sh** tree, ma'am. The paint is an actual health risk to the child. It's specifically why children's toys are made with certain paints, certain colors and whatnot, so that it's not a harm to the child. It wasn't enough taking every single ounce of life out of the home, but to spray paint this toy in toxic chemicals. You know what? I call that a sad beige win. Yeah, yeah, let's go. That toddler, dude. You say that you're making over your kid's tree. You know what? I want my tree to look a little- Oh, never mind then. Screw that little ass kid. Screw your little toddler who needs colors to have a healthy mind. Fuck them kids. They have no say in my sad beige life. But with all jokes aside, this is selfishness at its finest, my dude. Your toddler would genuinely have more fun playing with the box that the tree came in because look at how cool that box looks compared to this poo fart spew ass tree. Why does color have to be devoid in this child's life? Why can't you just set aside your social media aesthetics for a couple of minutes? And you know what? I know what people are gonna say. Well, you only saw a 10 second clip. You're right. But when you click onto this person's page, there is absolutely no color whatsoever. So I highly doubt that, especially because this kid likes playing with cardboard 
boxes and plastic bottles. I wonder why. I'm starting to get a sneaking suspicion that there is a sad beige cult out there because why do literally 110% of these same TikTok mommy influencers do the same shit? How does it look guys? It looks like shit. It looks like poo. I'm a goth. And if I happen to, by any chance in the future, not that I'm wanting or planning for it, but if in the future, if it happens to be a crotch demon comes out of me, my lifestyle is never going to be forced on them. They're their own beings. And as children, they need SpongeBob. They need Polly Pocket. They need Thomas the Tank. They need Hot Wheels. They need all of that fun shit. Heck, I hate to be that person too, but my cats, they have really colourful toys. Yeah, crazy, isn't it? Crazy when you think of other people and beings outside of your aesthetics. According to colormeanings.com, most kids feel a sense of joy and laughter when exposed to yellow. Kids who love yellow tend to be more optimistic and cheery. The same website also states that in relaxing rooms in the house, such as the kitchen, the lounge area should have more cool colors, such as green, purple, blues for that positive tranquility that a child needs in their lives to develop as a proper human being as opposed to seeing these devoid of life colors every single day that is in fact stunting their mental development as opposed to helping it. Yes, I think that people are entitled to have whatever the f they want in their house, whatever aesthetic. I think though it's a little bit dystopian to focus on your TikTok videos looking a certain way instead of prioritizing your toddler. I never thought we would live in a world where people care a lot more about how their feed looks as opposed to a living being. So with all of that being said, everybody, wowza. I didn't realize how far gone some of these influencers have become. I hope to catch you all in another video. Take care of yourselves and most of all, love your fucking selves.